The Eggbjørn Company is a studio with six photographers in the middle of Copenhagen. We are all different in our styles and our expressions. When we combine those different styles, we can do almost every kind of commercial and non-commercial job. We all have our own passions. For instance, Michael is doing large format photography, and I'm very fond of doing landscapes in black and white. Today we are doing two shots, one for Lungo jewelry and one for Gil Jensen watches, both major Danish design brands. The shoot today is more lifestyle than product images. It is very important that I don't have to worry about the equipment working, so I can concentrate on the expression of the model. When working with a medium format camera, you have the opportunity to work with a shallow depth of field, but it also gives you challenges with focus. I want the focus to be on the eyes, always on the eyes, the depth of field is so shallow that if you tilt the camera just a little bit, part of the image would be out of focus. Shooting in focus recompose mode, it is possible for me to keep the eyes in focus, even though I tilt the camera down to make a better composition. If I don't have to worry about focus, I can devote all my attention to getting a great image. Let's go check them out. Yep. This one is exceptional. Wow. <laughs> I'm doing a high-end product shoot for Gil Jensen watches. I've chosen to turn the watch about 30 degrees. Because of the shallow depth of field, it gives me some challenges as I want the entire watch to be sharp. Normally I would take a number of pictures and I would manually adjust my focus between each shot. With the focus stacking tool, I only have to set the far and the near focus. Then the camera automatically calculates the number of pictures, each with a little difference in focus. I always start by cropping the image, and then I adjust the color temperature, and after that, the contrast of the image. In this case, I apply local adjustments to the face of the watch to enhance the contrast and make it more clear. Then we select and output the images from Capture One and we use Helicon Focus for doing the actual stacking. It's always amazing to see a small object being printed in this size and see all these details. And I'm very happy about the results.